On June 27th, a pregnant Honduran asylum seeker, her partner, and their nine-year-old son were arrested by Border Patrol agents shortly after crossing the border through the desert. The father and son were almost immediately separated from them, driven to the border, and told to walk back to Mexico. The woman was taken to Scripps Mercy Hospital in Chula Vista, where she gave birth while in Border Patrol custody. Two days after that, she was given a choice by Border Patrol agents, either hand over her U.S. citizen child to social services or return together to Mexico. That's not, yeah. a, that's not a choice. That's not a legitimate choice. Th these people, both, both the mother and the father, were literally driven in a patrol vehicle to the border and forced to walk across into Mexico by armed agents. I, I don't see choices there. A Border Patrol spokesperson told KPBS that because the mother has no right to be in the U.S., she simply can't choose to stay there, and that she could simply choose to leave the child in their custody. Border Patrol says it doesn't remove U.S. citizens. The family has since been reunited in Tijuana, where they remain in a rented apartment. The mother hasn't been able to access medical care in Mexico because of the risks of the coronavirus pandemic. Today, the ACLU and Jewish Family Service filed a complaint to the Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General and a request to simply allow the family to enter the U.S. to continue their asylum process. The fact that there is not something clear in the law stating you can't send a U.S. citizen child back with parents who don't have legal status yet, uh, I mean, I, I, I think that just the fact that that's not in there, it's something that is very unclear and it leads to like really difficult situations like the ones that we are witnessing right now. But I think this could have been resolved by DHS by exercising their discretion to parole the entire family together into the United States. Advocates say the experience of the family, which was fleeing gang violence in Honduras and were the victims of crime in Mexico, is all too typical of an asylum system that has closed off every avenue. This doesn't have to happen. There are mechanisms in place, there is authority for the agency to parole family units into the United States where they can pursue their asylum claim safely and in a humane way without separation, without additional trauma. Max Rivlin-Adler, KPBS News.